Salutations, Utopians. Hope all is well with everyone. Uh, it's been a great day for creators. So much, uh, so much news, so much content out there. Basketball world is riveting as it's ever been. <clears throat> with that being said, I want to talk a little bit about uh, today's big announcement as I made on a short video. Uh, Shaq was on NBA on TNT in real time and he had announced uh the 223-24 Kia MVP uh rookie of the year and uh San Antonio Spurs Wemby Victor Wembenyama aka the alien won the uh the award um first and foremost no question about it uh, this guy is a transcendent talent and a dominant figure there's been games last year that I watched where he single-handedly was playing one on eight. That's right, one on eight. Not one on five, but one on eight because he was going at the team's other team's bench as well, whoever you put in the game. His anticipation skills, it's going to get scary once the game really slows down for him. Obviously, conditioning um, is a major factor with guys his size. I hate to speak any kind of evil on him, but, you know, we've seen what happened with Porzingis. Uh, Phil Jackson alluded to years ago when drafting Porzingis, uh, I think it was 2016, don't quote me on it, you know, um, some players are too tall for the game. So that's the only real concern I have with Wemby. Uh, I love his fire, his passion, his sense of humor. Uh, if, we, if we would have seen Tim Duncan uh, in the social media era from the beginning, I think we would have really learned just how much he's he's really like got that kind of spirit, you know, very subtle humor. But he's actually also very front line with it as well. Um, he's about his business. Great young man. 20, I think he averaged 23 and 10 with three blocks. So no question. And I think even he had solid numbers in the steals department. No question. You know, Wemby's that guy. But once again, awards, you know, these things really matter. And it's what keeps the fans engaged and connected. And there has to be an aura of familiarity. I know they say sometimes absence is the key to mystique and, and uh, interest, but also a familiarity. When people feel too far away from the brand and don't quite understand it, that also can cause people to fall back or be removed or desensitized. And awards should be a, an event that celebrated. People are fans ultimately at the end of the day, supporters. And they wanna feel that confirmation that what they're supporting actually makes sense. And so Spurs are a team that is the youngest in the league, but by design, because they had to tank like crazy, in order to get another top pick. And that top pick can really be a deciding factor this year. Because if they can get a Dillingham, or even scarier to me as a Zach Eady, uh, the guy from Colorado, multi-dimensional scorer, there's so many ways they can go. And they also might have potentially two picks in the top 10. So uh, don't quote me on the exact numbers of how it could break down to, but it can be a top, two top 10 situation. I really ain't like this draft. I know a lot of people are looking at it like, oh, it's the worst draft ever. If you're looking for that sensational uh, click engagement over hype nonsense. For me, I actually enjoy, you know, substantive players, If the, even if it means a role player. Like, I'm, I'll tell you that I think Kwame Brown even though he was drafted first overall, had a very solid career. Um, but I'm going away from what my intention and purpose of intention and purpose of this video was. Again, there was a snubbing, and the snub was Shet Holmgren. Shet Holmgren, if he's qualified to be a rookie, which he is according to the bylaws, then he was supposed to be at least co-rookie. Um, he's not picked to be on the Olympics. They picked Joel Embiid. And then he's getting snubbed again here, but they gave coach of the year to Dagenault. I mean, 
if Dagonall is getting coach of the year, then Shed Holmgren naturally has to be rookie of the year because part of the credit is the fact that he coached a team that was led, the defense was anchored by a rookie and a second option on a team that finished first in the West. Mind you, the conference that Wemby is in. And they're the second youngest team, as I said earlier, to the Spurs, who are who are also who are in first place, but the Spurs were blatantly tanking. So in my book, Oklahoma City is actually the youngest team in the league because what San Antonio assembled clearly is not a team. They're made for tanking, at least for one more year. Um, the numbers are there with Shep. Uh He's been phenomenal. Second in the league in contested uh, shots at the rim. He's been an anchor. And on top of that, I really think of him as a four. And he's been playing out of position. And once again, what happens? The league um, pushing marketing and globalization over just pure hoops. And I keep saying it. it, it get, like There's so many amazing players this year who didn't even play. Ja, LaMelo, Zion was in, you know, in the playoffs with that situation there's just so much talent and future ahead in the league that it's like you just you know you just wish and hope that the league just focuses on putting the most pure product on the court and letting who wants to who wants to sponsor sponsor but not allowing it to influence in any particular direction the outcome of what the integrity of the game is. Because what justifiable reason can you give to say Wemby, whose team is not winning, despite racking up stats, besides the heavy investment of the sponsors that he has with him and the relationships they, the NBA has with those sponsors, unfortunately. Like, what other justifiable reason? It's just not right. So, you know... um, I think Shet is in that category of young AD, Anthony Davis with the Pelicans, Tim Duncan, the Garnets. He can be in that category. And it's like a snubbing to me. Like, you couldn't even do a co-rookie. It's that important that you guys really just create this runway and he's going to be the face of the league. I mean, Jason Kidd and Grant Hill were co-rookies. And, you know, I know Grant Hill had injuries, but Jason Kidd was all-time great. And why the Mavericks, a huge part of why the Mavericks are in the second round getting ready to play against uh, the Dallas Mavericks, ironically enough. So, I just think, you know, um, the NBA once again is just showing these accolades don't hold no weight and that... You know, players are really, you know, I don't know if these awards are being appointed for the right reasons. You know, um, it feels like participation trophies at this point. I'd like to see that the league improve on this. All right, Utopians, I'll try to do better next time. Global, out.